بے قرار دل اس طرح ملے جس طرح کبھی ہم جدا نہ تھے بے قرار دل تم بھی کھو گئے ہم بھی کھو گئے ایک راہ پر چل کے دو قدم وقت نے کیا کیا ہنسی ستم A film had released at the box office. It was called Kaagas Ke Phool. Produced, directed and enacted by Guru Dutt. That film is still remembered for the depths to which it, it took us and to the heights to which it had taken us. The canvas was unparalleled but unfortunately unsuccessful at that time. And Guru Dutt is known to be that maestro who died in the wrong circumstances and certainly was born at the wrong time. Cut to 2022, a film by the name of Chup, Revenge of an Artist is releasing. And I got these flowers after I had seen the teaser, I got goosebumps. First, I have to congratulate them for paying an ode to the artist. That was Guru Dutt by giving them these kagas ke pool, Mr. Sunny Deol, Mr. R. Balki and Dulkar Salman. So I'm going to walk up to you and actually give it to you. Bohat shukriya. Thank you. This is your kagas ke pool. I'll come to Dulkar. You know, when I had got these flowers, the same day I watched the teaser on Instagram and when I reached home, I got kagas ke pool. An artist ka revenge to humne kabhi socha hi nahi tha. An artist is supposed to give He's supposed to give to the world and he's supposed to touch the hearts of the world. And we had not thought of an artist taking a revenge from someone. You are playing that artist who takes revenge, right? <laughs> and is he? No, 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 no let's not no, go there. Not. <laughs> you have to elaborate. Are you an artist? Are you a murderer? Are you an artist who turns into a murderer? And what is your connection with Guru Dutt? Why is the song playing behind you when you do this? I, I just work in a flower shop. I make these. <laughs> you may be missing the murderer here. I know that. It is a spoiler free. Uh, no, you may be discussion. missing the murderer. I, I am I'm trying to, but I'll, I'll catch the two ends of the. But uh, my biggest thread. takeaway from the film was learning to make these. <laughs> <laughs> he actually made. Uh, True. You did? You learned, you yeah, learned I, how I to do it? Them, I, I we learned how to do it in school yeah. and I was quite happy to see it because it also took us back to the childhood. It was uh, great, so even if they shifting the shot, I continued making it. Really? Yeah. Very nice. So, a alternate career to make nothing else. And what is that one scene in the film that I should look forward to, which is worth doing that film for you? For me? Mm. I think it's not just a scene which summarizes the whole thing what you're trying to do in the mm. film. Uh, it's a whole character, how it is trying to do what it wants to do and it keeps hitting dead ends and wanting to do something else and trying to find a path somewhere. Mm. And uh, that's what it is basically. It is not a, just a ek scene just ki wajah se sab kuch hai. Mm. Uh, it's in totality the whole thing the character one is portraying that mm. makes the thing as what I am in the Naak film. Na aise pakarni padi, <laughs> try girl, try girl, try girl. So you are a sitting MP from Gurdaspur. <laughs> we are talking to an MP, member of parliament. But I can't see Gaddi se leke producers is Gaddi pe leke raayin hamari khush nasibi ki hum MP se sawal kar sakte hain. To MP sahab ye bataiye ki while you were doing the rounds of the parliament and the producers this of this a, film. I think we are talking about film. Yeah, exactly. That's so, that I'm connecting yeah. it. So, so you get a call from the producer. Ko, kisi cheez ko nahi Fine, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I get it. I get it. 
सो दैट इज़ द बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट एन एक्टर्स प्रोफेशन इज आप कहीं भी जाता है लेकिन लौटता फिल्म के सेट्स पर ही है सो वॉट इज इट अबाउट द फिल्म दैट वन द प्रोड्यूसर्स हैट कॉल्ड यू कि एक फिल्म है विच गॉट यू एक्साइटेड अबाउट इट आई थिंक इट इज़ बेसिकली यू नो मैं हमेशा मेरा एवरीबडी नोज आई एम वेरी इंस्टिंगटिव गाय मेरे को चीज़ पसंद आती है आई गेट सो एक्साइटेड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डू इट देर इन देर एंड दैट्स हाउ दिस थिंग ऑट स्टार्ट एड बाल की केम टू मी एंड जीनरेटेड मी दिस सब्जेक्ट नाम सो थ्रिल्ड एंड आई मीन सो फ्रेश बिकॉज हमेशा हमें वही चीज़ें exactly. आ रही हैं exactly. uh, को, कोई रीमेक आ रहा है या कोई किसी को बायोपिक बनानी है ये करना है वो करना तो यू you नो know, कुछ uh, जब हम नई बात करते हैं तो वी वी टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग फ्रेश समथिंग ओरिजिनल एंड दैट्स व्हाट दिस फिल्म इज़ ऑल अबाउट एंड आई एम सो हैप्पी आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट द ट्रेलर लोगों को पसंद आ रहा है एंड दे आर एक्चुअली जेन्यूनली लाइकिंग इट एंड आई जस्ट विश दैट दे हैव अ गुड ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस इन द सिनेमा एंड they should uh, enjoy what uh, an originality is all about of course yes we need something original seriously so i can connect gurudat to sunny deol ji here how he donned all the four hats in one project he produced directed acted and wrote one project like agas ke phool pyasa several others you have also done the same thing and you still think he is the cop <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> So this is the connection. Connect, guru. Yeah, that's the connection. I think you are the guru that here, and you are. No, I'm that. not the guru. I, you are in a better role. You're in a better position to talk about that zone. You see, basically, what happens is, you know, uh, even my film, which was Dil Lagi, it started off in a very interesting way. It yes. was, uh, I was doing a film which didn't happen, and I was very keen on wanting that film to happen. So I got down to my dad, and I said, Dad, here's a subject which I have. I've worked on it and everything, and. Uh, I want to direct. Can I narrate it to you? Mm. Can I narrate it? I said, Do you think I can? Mm. He said, Go ahead, do it. <clears throat> And somehow, you know, your father says something. Go do it. Yeah. It's like everything you can do, anything on yeah. earth, you know. <laughs> And वहाँ से मेरी कहानी शुरू हुई थी. And obviously, film released. It was a uh, against my image. <laughs> it was against everything what mm. I was in the film industry, what people knew me for. Mm. So it didn't do well at the box office. But I used to get a lot of uh, comments from a lot of people that we really enjoyed the film. Why don't you do more like that? But I didn't want to do after that. You didn't, because uh, I was trying to be so so different in the film. Mm. I was trying to do music so differently. I had every. I was not one music director. I had lots of music directors mm. at that time. I had a lot of singers doing one particular song called Dil Lagi, mm. and uh, I was just trying to innovate more stuff. And I wanted to be as real as possible. And uh, somehow. I was not successful with it. <laughs> That's okay, but you know, you say that you you were not successful with that. That's exactly the point we're making. I remember that film, Dil Lagi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Or Mulla Matunkar was there, yeah. Bobby Deol was yeah, there. Yeah. You were there. She falls in love with one brother, but yeah, ultimately, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's such a beautiful play of relationships. Yeah. When you say that people films are not ahead or behind their time, it's just people that they have a little bit of a catching up to do with such subjects. It's right? the image which takes over you. You know, that's the problem. You know, it's uh, very difficult to break your image. Ah. And uh, unless and until, you know, you have something which is very there for you to do, and somebody yeah. gives you something, you can't do it. But you can't take a big risk with it. So it has to be the content has to be so strong that you go along with it, and it shouldn't be so expensive that it dents it success because hmm. it'll work. But because a good thing is always works, but it may not work because it may not uh, bring back that kind of money which has been put into the film. Right, right. And when I was going through again internet, that's where I got the information from. It says the music directors are S. D. Burman, of course, and Amitabh Bachchan. What's the connection here? There's no connection. Um, I just answer one thing, and you said something about people not hmm. being ahead of the time. Yeah. Now I think I always believe that films are not ahead of the time. Films are in the times, hmm. and people are also in the times. Sometimes, what you when you eat used to certain kind of a food, right? You hmm. always you're used to eating a regular kind. Of, when you see something different, you need a little push. Little push. Hey, yeah. hey, try this. Yeah, yeah, correct. You know, it depends on who's pushing what yeah. to that that person. So right. how many how many people favorably to it's exactly that film. And that's, yeah. why, and that's why we need the critics to be. We need a lot of people to kind of push. That's where the, the critics come in. To kind of do it. <laughs> So, तो शाबाशी देने और आगे धक्का मारने को कभी अच्छी है करेक्ट एंड आई थिंक अमिताभ बच्चन सी इट्स वेरी स्ट्रेंज थिंग हैपन अमित जी सॉ चुप एंड ही वॉज मूव बाय इट एंड ही कॉल्ड मी एंड ही सेट आई वॉन्ट स्पीक टू यू सो आई सेट फाइन सो आई वेट अक्रॉस सो मी लॉट ऑफ things about the film and mm. uh, i want to say that let him say whatever if he's there 
So he just said, no, but I want to play you something, exactly how I feel. Ooh. So he took me to the piano nearby and he played something which he had recorded there. Okay, when I was seeing uh, Sunny, when I was seeing Rilke, when I was seeing Shreya, oh. I had certain feelings and this thing and I just played it. I didn't know how to express it in words, I just played it. Hmm. So this is what it is, this is my feeling for the film. I said, what's that? So I said, what are you going to do with this, Sonji? You're not there. I just played it for fun and I just did it for you. And he's not a trained pianist yeah. or whatever. He's just learned it on his own. He's just playing something. So I said, give it to me. So what are you going to do with it? I'll uh, do something with it. Give it to me. So he said, um, OK. Then I'll just put it in the studio and give this stuff. So, but what are you going to do with it? So I'll run it as the end credit, the credit title wow. as a scene. <laughs> so it's actually one of those things which was actually done after him seeing Chuf, so, so it's, 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 it's possibly one of the most sensitive things that people can kind of hear as a compliment. <laughs> yeah. uh, not a word, not anything else, but just somebody's played a uh, composed, uh, a a, an original piece, piece of music for a film that he was, uh, uh, you know, moved by. So it's, 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 a, it's for me very precious. Your film, uh, Sita Ramam, has done exceedingly well, not just in India, but abroad as well. And the storyline is beautiful. That is something that uh, I guess we still have to learn. Uh, lot of, there were a lot of layers in, this, in that story, which I hadn't seen in a Hindi movie for a long time, or probably in any mainstream movie for a long time. And that is something when we need to work, get back those classic stories and sagas of love back into the cinema. And here you're doing a different kind of a role, which is so different from Ram, yeah. the army guy, the, the, the lieutenant. What's your zone? I mean, what's the traveling that you're doing between Mumbai and Kerala and Chennai? What, what's happening right now? How is your career looking like in your, in your mind? Um, it's peculiar and interesting, yeah. think, to say the least. Um, it's been very, just so organic. Like I, I get these inquiries and you know, and these are from uh, like legitimate uh, celebrated filmmakers you know, like Baki sir. And, mm. and I'm, I'm just amazed that they are willing to give me these opportunities even though <coughs> I may not, you know, be native to the language and... Uh, no, that's not true. <laughs> he's native to every language he works with. <laughs> he's the only guy who, uh, he's, he's actually a, uh, he's a Malayali, he's mm. a Kerala. But he speaks Tamil like a Tamilian. Yeah. He speaks Telugu like a person from Andhra. He mm. speaks Hindi like a North Indian. He mm. speaks every language yeah. like he was born to. <laughs> Very few people in the world yeah. who can do that. Yeah. And he's got that gift, so he's not. Uh, yeah. And he's people are not Dubai. celebrating him for nothing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and he's even lived in US and in Dubai yeah. before starting his acting career. So I one wonders. I mean, what's the trajectory of your life? So yeah, go on. There are times when people have been uh, criticizing me for this, saying, you know, I'm trying to keep my feet in multiple boats hmm. and therefore I'm going to sink because uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm never in one industry and I'm yeah. kind of juggling so many things. It is easier when you focus on, on one language because you can kind mm. of plan your <coughs> your year, your career. Mm. Uh, but I I think I'm also of this generation that that's uh, all about life experiences and mm. you know so many youngsters today are traveling, are trying new things, are not doing conventional jobs. And, so mm. I guess I want to be a little unconventional as an actor because I want to experience all of these mm. industries and I, I genuinely enjoy that. I love the different cultures, I love the different teams I work with, uh, you know, the locals I meet, the places mm. I go to. So are you spending more time in Mumbai? I, I'm definitely living out of a suitcase. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, I, can't, I can't say that I've been in any one place long enough. Sure. It's very project based. That's the revenge of an actor. He loves to travel. <laughs> it's one of the best things you can do. But you know, interestingly, when you see the trailer, uh, and I saw you and then I saw him, and you have similar uh, premises in life. His father was an established yes. actor, producer, director, uh, uh, stalwart in Hindi cinema. Your father, Mamuti ji, is, is such a big name um, uh, in, in so many languages. What did you have to learn from him, and how do you see him as a growing talent? If there was one advice you could give to him, that Hindi cinema is like this. So what, what can you tell him? I don't know. I'm so happy that I mean, he's, he knows so many languages and he's doing everywhere. Hmm. Which I don't think 
anyone else is capable of doing it or is doing it. I'm not so sure. Mm. Am I right or wrong? I don't Very know. Very few people. Very few. And, it, uh, and you've never and done any I mean, film in uh, any other language? Have no, you? I haven't. I haven't. I'm going to say Hindi is a lot of And uh, it is good and uh, it's so nice. I mean, uh, it's a, it's a great time right now, if you ask me frankly, for the youth, because it's pehle hota tha ye Hindi hai, ye ye hai, ye ye hai, ye ye hai. But I think the cinema is becoming like one cinema, yes. and uh, it was high time it happened that yes, way. Yes. So then the talent can be, you know, shared everywhere uh, instead of just simply everybody borrowing it from here and making it there. So and uh, I'm so happy and so proud of him that what, the way he is going, and I'm sure <laughs> he'll go ahead. Thank you. The opportunities. Yeah, and what can you learn from his career trajectory? So uh, amazingly, I know we're aware of uh, you know Sunny Sir being mm. Dharam Sir's son and all of this, mm. and being from that family. And but over the years, he's he's so known for who he is. Yeah, yeah. And he's so his own identity. Yeah, he's so Sunny Deol. You know, you that, can't give him another like, character like, all to. All shoot, correct. I wasn't thinking of that. Mm. I was only thinking it's Sunny Sir, and yeah. you know he's known for this. He's this kind of an actor and yeah. I'm getting to work with him. Yeah. Literally today is our first day of promotions and when we were talking is when I'm relating so much to what the things he's saying because yeah. now I'm reminded that, oh yeah, you know, Sanis is also from Correct. Uh, his lineage and, and that's, that was amazing for me that I, I don't relate that to him when I'm watching him on screen mm. or uh, when I'm working with him. Uh, mm. So that for me is, I think, gives me some confidence that like, I can make a name for myself. Don't be too modest. Uh, Balki sir, this is an important question that we must address. Okay. The protagonist, the trailer actually clearly says that my film is my baby and how dare you are venomous with your reaction to my baby. And then he gives those stars and engraves them with a sharp knife or something. You can answer this, Balki sir. One, Guru Dutt would never have done that. One. And secondly, should or can artists be really, really sensitive to their products, emotionally get attached to them and also get very, very affected by the financial aspect of their, because the industry is fickle. We have no, I have had friends whose fathers were producer, producers and they tell me gory stories of how their houses were sold off and things like that, yet they're not very negative or not very full of, what's your take on that? Uh, I think you've met lucky people uh, <laughs> because I feel that, you know, when an artist, an artist mm. is supposed to be sensitive, mm. means a thin skin, mm. then you suddenly tell the same person, develop a thick, thick skin when it comes to opinions, take the criticism on your chin and mm. kind of move on. Mm. It's, very, it's very lucky if a person can switch from a thin skin to a thick skin. Mm. What if some people can't? Okay. Uh, they can either kind of go into depression, hmm. like Guru Dutt did. Hmm. Besides, of course, this is one of the reasons Kagas Kipul's failure, yeah. Kagas Kipul's criticism also was he one of the reasons. He didn't make a film after that. Yeah, he didn't make a film after that, one of the, one of the reasons, of hmm. course. But it doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean that all depression is like that. Hmm. We always associate depression with artists as, you know, people become an alcoholic or a drug addict or you kind of, you know, get into some hmm. uh, asylum or whatever and hmm. kind of get into, it's not necessary. Hmm. Anything can happen because the mind is such a strange kind of a thing that depression can kind of really can make you very upset or very angry. Hmm. One of the two. Hmm. So Gurudat was, I mean, we were very lucky that Gurudat was only depressed, was, you know, became depressed about this <coughs> himself and didn't harm anybody else. Hmm. Okay, but what if another artist hmm. experienced something internally that Gurudat didn't? I mean, it's, it's very strange. We only quote examples of people. We love to see artists who we've destroyed and say, oh, how depressed and how sad. Okay, we've rarely met artists mm. who we've tried to destroy mm. and they are striking back. That's so true. It's a different thing. It's a, it's, it, you, you can't categorize everybody as one <coughs> kind of a thing. You can cat categorize their art. You mm. can't categorize their reactions. Mm. So it depends on person to person, I agree. And this is the worst case scenario that you're talking about, that a person becomes either self-destructive or he starts becoming destructive to the other people who've caused him that harm. Now, all of you are artists. Saniji, you've had the longest career here in cinema. And you would have seen so many films where you're, and some critics, I agree, though there is a critic on board, uh, this, this film, I guess, who's worked on the script. But the signal that goes out is that this person who's 
completely a psychopath, is killing those critics who've been too harsh with him. Now, how do you deal with criticism? And how sensitive can an artist be? See, how can he afford see, to be it can be, you know, very sensitive. Every human being is sensitive. But now the sensitivity has been challenged so much hmm. that you get immune to, like we're getting immune to now COVID. Right. Do you understand? It is, it takes a person's life, but slowly, slowly it's turning into that because we're getting, we, that's what happens to a human being. And that's the way the way people are bashing you up so much that end of the day, it just means, okay, carry on, you know. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. and then again, you know, it is a very individual thing. Yeah. And um, that's why I say, you know, a strength and everything is depends on a person from where he de derives it from. And I think if you have a family, you've got strong at home, that is a support to you. Yeah. You know, so you can tackle all these things. If a person is an individual person, definitely, that's why you have so many kind of different kind of killers which come up. I'm not talking from the critic yeah. point. Otherwise, because they have been victim of something for which reason they go out and do something which they were not supposed to do. Hmm. You know? And uh, so nobody takes the blame. I would say the society, the media, the journalism, and people, and the society are the actual cause of anybody who becomes something because they've been pushed to that point. Hmm. I mean, there are some people who are bad. I don't deny that. But quite a lot of people get pushed hmm. because, of, because of all these things where... And nobody wants to take the blame because they want, don't want to take a blame. They can't say, yeah, uh, we didn't do that, so we didn't do that. We didn't do that. Look at so many riots and so many things go wrong. It's because of a stupidity. Yeah. Not because an innocent dies always. It's an innocent person who yeah. is the victim of it always. Yeah. So, I mean, that's basically what I feel everything yeah. is all about. So I guess that is something young actors can learn from him. will be less reactive. Yeah, as in... Yeah? Uh, I, I feel like, <clears throat> especially when I when I interact with uh, you know actors more experienced than me, I I feel like today when Sunisa was saying you know at the beginning of his career he used to get really angry and you know, he used to really want to like do something personally yeah. to these people, uh, and now over time he's just not really affected by yeah. it. I, I've had that same interaction with my father. I'm sure Mr. Bachchan will say the same thing. Uh, so I think it's something that that comes with experience and. Genuinely, I think I've come to a certain conclusion in my head that I will keep working, I will keep doing more cinema. Hmm. And uh, no one critic or hater or whatever it is, hmm. you know, we have all these energies <coughs> can stop me from working, right? Hmm. Like, you don't like my films? What do you do? Like, hmm. that, that it's, it's your choice. Okay. But uh, no one can stop me from working. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to keep doing what I want to do. And so you kind of come up with these solutions or systems in your head. Self-created, actually, yeah. defense mechanisms. Yeah. Every artist has to create. Yeah. Uh, but we're all, I'm sure we're all sensitive and we're all affected by the criticism. Okay. We're all affected by anyone trying to bring you down for no reason. Okay. You know? <laughs> 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 you can say that the world is silent because there are less violent people. I mean, if That's everybody true. is violent, because we are sitting here, there are a lot yeah, of people right. who are not as calm as us. Yeah. We're talking of that <laughs> one person. Hmm. Who some the mind is a strange thing. Despite hmm. society, despite our best reactions, hmm. despite this thing, we still don't know why we are in control and other people aren't. Hmm. Or one person is not. We hmm. take a lot of credit hmm. ourselves. Hmm. But it is a lot of luck. Yeah. We are actually normal and we are surviving and we are successful and we are stable. Hmm. Because we are a little luckier That's true. than that one person. So we don't, we cannot explain that. So Dilkan, uh, you should technically know very well how to take criticism. Why? Because your father three national awards, huge career, uh, hits and misses and hits and misses, more hits than misses. But uh, being in the same house as your father would have definitely trained you in how to take criticism and how to take praise, right. both equally. We were just talking about how much sensitivity can an artist have inside of him. Sensitive to his art and sensitive to the response that he gets for his art, sensitive to also the financial gains that he gets on. Like for example, a, a film producer or a director, if, it, if, it, if it's film doesn't do well, how much of the pain and agony can he go through and for how long? How much time does he, he's a director, how much time does it take to dust himself Bounce off back. and get back yeah, after the, uh, the box office? What do you have to say? I think being born to my father, I've, I'm, I've seen the highs and lows. Hmm. Uh, I've seen how uh, that is not constant, hmm. the highs or the lows. Uh, you know, you just keep going. So that's kind of helped help me stay very grounded. Like, so even mm. if there's a huge hit, 
it makes me happy, but it doesn't. I, I'll never believe for a second that it's because of something I did. It, it's there's so many factors contributing to a film working and, and becoming a hit that mm. it's not purely based on any one fact or any one person in the film. Um, but when it comes to getting being sensitive, I think it's, it is subjective because we're all unique individuals. Yeah. Uh, we might react differently, we might uh, let it affect us differently, we might even show it differently. Like there might be some very uh, tough, cool uh, people who are really hurting on the inside mm. from being criticized. Uh, there might be some who express it loudly or some who get emotional about it. Uh, but it is true that like, I think all artists are sensitive. Uh, and we also, <laughs> I feel like we also, uh, I think it's a human thing, I think everybody has it. We all are the sons of our universe, mm. you know, like uh, we each have that. <laughs> so, but I might not know, uh, I know what is, uh, all, the, all the things that are affecting me, like mm. all the negative things somebody said about me and mm. all the criticisms uh, I have been reading about myself. Mm. But say a Balki sir, when he's analyzing my film, he's like, hey, I heard the film is great and it's doing really well. Mm. And I might be mulling over some, <laughs> something sensitive somebody said to me, but he might not know about it because he's not seeking mm. it out or reading about it. And I know of the films of his that I love. Mm. I don't, I have not read every single review. I haven't read every single criticism. Mm. So it's very based around us. And every individual I speak to, especially in the film industry, mm. uh, everybody has these stories where they're so upset. They're like, man, this media, they're like talking. And sometimes I'm like, really? Mm. They're, they're talk, like, <laughs> I remember I met a very uh, small time actor. I've never seen his work. Uh, and I don't even know, I, th I think he's only done a few films. It was, Mostly other stuff he's done like on the internet or something, I don't know like what. Mm. And he was upset about this. And I said, who? Where? <laughs> who is writing about you? Where can I read this? <laughs> so uh, I'm sure we all have this, yeah. this issue. But it, what is comforting is that it's common to all artists. Mm. So I think we should find some solace in that instead of focusing so much on, on mm. this. I don't like criticism, I like praise. I like to be praised. <laughs> too much people criticizing too many people. I like to hear good things. Really? It's like, nice, yeah, I just to hear good things. What's the, what's the That's harm? That's true. I don't think anybody learned anything from criticism. I, till today, I have not uh, believed in that and stuff. I think you know yourself. You know the next stuff you're doing and you know you all, we all develop on our own. Yeah, yeah. I think it's not criticism that you learn from, it's critiquing that you know. If you tell me, exactly. hey, you could have done it like that, hey, you could have, then you learn. Exactly. If you say you're bad, no, you don't know, you right. learn. You know, that's what it is. Film appreciation is a better word than, than that, critique. Yeah. yeah, like there's art appreciation. There exactly. Film you appreciate. talk about and if you don't like something, you have to tell why. Tell us in brief why. Don't the world's you like a tough place. Yeah, let's call each other nice things. You know. Totally. <laughs> thank you, Dilkar. Dilkar, I asked him, how many people eat? So, he said, how many people eat? But now that you're so popular in Hindi cinema, now are people pronouncing your name correctly? Uh, more, more or less. More, more or less. More right than... Yeah. <laughs> there are still some who say Dilkar or something. Yeah. So, great. Thank you, Mr. Salman. Thank, thank you. Mr. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Mr. Deol. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.